Hi and welcome to episode 3 of our playthrough with um, Revival Fountain of Youth. So as mentioned in the previous episode we kind of got our cooking situation sorted out, we got a crafting table up, we got our food and water sorted out. Uh, we do need to sleep so let's do that. Now if we sleep as mentioned it defaults through to the morning if we sleep then it pretty much puts all of our stats up to where we want them to be now we're a little bit hungry um did we have any more food yes we did had a dog to eat and we got a couple of oranges so if we eat each of those give as it says 10 water to food which pretty much puts us up to there all right good now we were wanting to make a bow so let's go work and there we go we now have a bow so I'm just gonna put we're not gonna be cooking right now so I'm just going to okay I have to put that into inventory to move it so I'm gonna want to put that into two now that's um I want to make a storage chest here, one of the large ones. It's going to take two large sticks and it's going to take a bunch of small sticks. I'm going to put it next to the crafting table. Let's go crafting and then buildings. Put one of these larger ones in place. Be able to squeeze it in here. There we go. E, space bar, space bar. One new blueprint unlocked. Okay. So I'm just going to put all of the um, long sticks in there for now. Done. And the tools. Torch can go in there. That's kind of associated with our cooking. All right. Now we have our weak bow, but we do not have any arrows. Now what we're going to want to be doing is uh, just grab this thing here. Just go to blueprints. And just grab some stones we could make wooden arrows or we could make stone arrows but we've got the stone and we did pick up a bunch of um feathers remember and then we just need a bunch of sticks i think 25 sticks left okay and go crafting then you want to look for ranged weapons here there it is and stone arrows so we need three sticks per so let's go and get some sticks here so remember that place we went to um, on the first day? We can get sticks from a bunch of different places. But there's no harm coming over here just for the sticks anyway, because um, we can fill up with stuff very, very easily and then just head back to the cave. Now you saw that we had the one large stone. I'm not sure if we've got any stones left. But there is a stone pile just up here. Now you can see in the top left hand corner we, we don't have sun exposure anymore. Yeah, sorry, I'm just going to go to the side here. Um, we can get sticks here. I don't think there's any tool usage here either. No, let's do this. So F select tool, harvest. So E, F, spacebar, E, F, spacebar. So we're picking up a load of bark that we're not going to be needing until later in the game. So that's going to sit around for quite a, quite a long time. But we will get to use it eventually. So here's a stone pile we haven't visited yet. So E, F, spacebar, which you kind of get used to. And then there's a big stone here. So you see we're already close to our maximum um how many sticks did we get 19. all right let's go there and see you back at the cave getting back to the cave now so you can see one of the problems here every time we go out as soon as we start to pick up things like stones uh we are overweight so right mouse click so drop that guy um just keep the small stones here so this is 22 weight here which was part of our problem. Now we don't need to be carrying around these, but our goal was to, actually we do need the stones, don't we? So let's just pick up a few stones. Our goal was 
arrows. So crafting, ranged weapons, stone arrows. And we can make uh, 12. All right, let's do that. All right, let's get rid of as much weight as we can. Noting that we probably need more sticks. We will grab more feathers in due course. Let's go tab there. Let's get that into our one slot. So spear in the one slot, bow in the two slot, and arrows down here. We only have one ammo slot right now, which we is all we need, and we only have two weapons slot right slots right now. now. As we keep making these, but what we can do if we want more weapon slots, if you go into crafting and go into equipment. Then what we can do is make um, this will give us more ammo slots, as it says, adds one ammo slot. This will give us more one more weapon slot. So all that really means is that um, this thing here, which weighs 2.2, will then go into here, and it won't weigh us down by that 2.2 anymore. So that's really the only benefit there. But we can hold off on that. We're going to need two um, liana for that. So we're out of liana, but what we have just done is we've built a bow and we want to get our bow skill up. If you just go tab, actually one of the first things I'm going to do here, tab, just go to character and then just look at uh, top tab here. Now I am going to just fire, just get, uh, right mouse click here, just fire an arrow off of there. Okay, so normally you'd have to go find your arrow. Um, and if it's in grass, it can take some time. But if you go tab, character, and then just press this concentration here and go learn. That uses one sur that one survival point that we picked up. But now if we just uh, press and hold V, there you go, it highlights our arrow. So it means that we can easily find arrows now. So what we're going to do, oh, it also highlights uh, certain things of interest. And it just, just do that again. So it says there's something interesting here. So you've got an ancient hunting drawing. Okay, done. That goes into our, I thought it went into here. It went somewhere. So what we now want to do, um, if we look at our character and we look down here, so here's our crafting skill, um, so that's ticking up, and you can see the um, benefits of increasing that here. Fire starting, um, we have zero there because we've been using our um, torch there to light the fire, but that's fine because we can just keep doing that. Cooking, skinning, we haven't skinned any, oh yeah, we, maybe we did. Uh, throwing, we haven't thrown anything yet. Shooting, we haven't shot an arrow yet, or rather we haven't killed anything yet. Strength, we're up to two, and you can see that um, our carry weight increases with that. Athletics reduces stamina drain by sprinting, so you can run further. Swimming, we'll get to later, but we don't need to be doing that right now. Uh, drying, we'll also get to later. But what we want to do is we want to get, um, just going back here, the reason we were looking here is our shooting skill. Because you can see that... Um, Required level 3 increases damage from shooting. So we want to increase our sh um, our shooting skill. So we can do that just by running around and shooting the crabs, which is why we left them alone earlier. Now we can use them for target practice. And that gets our shooting skill up. So that's what we're going to do for the rest of today. Let me see how much time we got. Not much, not much. Let's kill a couple of crabs. Getting to that level one is actually quite quick. And we've got all these loose items here that we could uh, pick up along the beach along the way. So let's do that. There's normally some crabs here, so I'm not sure where they are today. So remember, this is where we spawned in. And there's a couple of crabs ahead of us. They're just walking so that we can 
Because you need stamina for the um, arrow pull. Which is going to crouch. This is our first crab. This also gives us food, because we can cook this up. But main reason for doing this is our bow skill. We want to get that up so that when we tar start taking on things like pigs, we can lay down more damage. So the crabs are very useful target practice for getting your bow skill up. Which is exactly what we're doing here. So there you go, level one. All you have to do is kill a couple of crabs. We're just looking back at the shooting. So we're already getting some benefits, but the real ones start to come here because it increases damage once we get up to level three, which won't take long. So keeping on, keeping on with the crabs. So as well as the real purpose of doing this, of course, we can actually cook up all these crabs and eat them. And as we saw, um, our water situation is comfortable because of um, the flasks that we filled up. And this is making our food situation even more comfortable. But it's getting dark. So I'm going to head back to the cave, uh, killing any crabs on the way, and I'll see you there. Getting back to the cave now. So I managed to kill two more crabs on the way back and we got to shooting level two. So it looks like each crab gives, I don't know, about 35 there. So we've got these benefits so far and the next one, um, which is only going to be a few more crabs actually, is going to get us to increasing damage. So where are we? We picked up a bunch of things. I think we may as well increase our cooking skill here. Let's do that. Um, let's go equip. Okay, center of the mouse wheel. E, spacebar ignites. And then let's just cook up all those crabs. So chance of injury 1%. Done. G for extinguish. So now we've got tons of food. So let's do this. Eat to our heart's content. Um, we can drink, actually we've got these as well, um, so this is kind of overdoing it on the food side, but let's do these three, this is up to 80 water, and um, we go up to 100 water, so I picked up these coconuts on the beach, remember these are the ones we actually dropped on the very first day, so coconuts and leaves in here, Keep the food on us for now. Some spare sticks in there. So I'm going to keep the stone on us in case we break our... Well, or when we break our stone axe, because that's not going to take long. Uh, let me see. Iron spear there. We don't need to carry this. And let's sleep. So E. Four hours till morning. We don't fully get all our energy back, but let's do that. All right. Now, what do we want to do today? Um... As mentioned, there are a list of like 25 things that we really want to do. If we just look at the crafting table first, uh, is there anything we want to do here? We're running out of liana, which means we can't make wood for one thing. Um, so let's just go M. Now remember, we did do the uh, cartographer tree. So is there anything we want to do here? There is liana here, and there's also a pig that we could go for. Um, but I think before we do that, we saw the problem the other day that everywhere we go, we get overweight very, very quickly. So I think what we need to do is go for this thing here. Go to machines. What we want is a cart. Because if we just go tab here, so our weight limit's 44. If we make a cart to carry around with us, um, this can carry 80. So it would be very, very useful, but we would need a split log. Now, how are we going to get a split log? What we're going to have to do is go crafting, go to machines again, and we're going to need a carpentry workbench. So let's do this. 
again just temporarily putting everything in here before we start base building which will come later uh, it doesn't really matter where all right so e space bar place resources so we need two liana but we don't have any of that one common log all right so we have to go get some liana so let's do that now firstly there were some crabs on the beach that i didn't deal with yesterday and it would be nice to get our bow skill up just a little bit more because as we saw once we get it to three we're increasing our damage output which will be useful once we uh, start dealing with the uh, with the piggies which we will have to do quite soon not seeing those crabs all right in that case let's just go for there's one So our bow skill was 35. Now that put it up to... Where is shooting? There it is, 77. I don't think there's any crabs over there anymore. So Liana, where do we want to go? Um, there is Liana up here. That we could grab and there is liana there we don't have to deal with the pig today let's go for this one from what i remember there's an annoying snake on the way which um, often clips us but we do have the meds for that but if we go up here and do some mapping it's also going to start showing us where the obsidian is and that's really one of the next steps in development that we start getting a bunch of obsidian which allows us to make obsidian obsidian axes, knives, a bunch of other things. So there's the wall which we climb over for the beach, which is where we came on the first day. So if we hit M, there is a pig right in there, which we could actually go for. Um, yeah, let's do that. I think we don't have the capacity to carry much. Now there is a snake. So all we're interested in here is the um, increasing the bow skill. Yeah, they do drop um, the snake tails, but we don't really care about it. And there's a dog. Now, uh, this is a bit tricky catching them as they come in. Okay, got him. We'll pick him up and drop him if we don't need him. Here's more his hibiscus if we get the flu runny nose thing. Now we wanted Liana and that's right there on our right hand side. Now watch out for the pig. There is a pig in here somewhere. Where's the Liana? There it is. Walking because we're liable to run into more snakes. There's one as we speak and he's right there. Oh, and there's the pig. Now He's after us, isn't he? All right. All right, let's run. Now he's gonna chase us. We can get another one in there. Oh, he caught us. All right. I don't think he comes over here, does he? No, he doesn't. All right, he clipped us, but as we saw, it didn't really do a lot of damage there. Now he's got two arrows in him, so he's actually bleeding out right now. But if he comes at us again and he takes a third arrow... Oh, and there's that snake, which... Um... Alright, so we need to take some medicine there. Now we can press the V and look for our arrows. There he is. Because he's got our arrows stuck in him. Oh no, that's the one with the snake, isn't it? Alright. Okay, well, you can see how useful that is. Yeah, the, the arrows actually pick up automatically, so we are back to 12. How are we back to 12? We started with 12, right? So where's our pig? So 
very slight delay there. Um, so we've got a snake. There we go. More bow skill. So we need to find that pig. Um, he ran off with our arrows. Now where are we? He should be around here somewhere. So there's some peccaries over there. That's not helping us. He may have bled out already. Um, so where was he headed? It's around here, wasn't it? Yeah, if we had the next level of the concentration thing, we could follow his tracks. But we don't have that right now. Oh, well, we can't find it, but to be honest, it's not that important. Um, they respawn. So what we really wanted today, um, just ignoring the pig, was the liana which is on our left here where is the liana right in front of us okay e uh, so we got 10 of them this time harvest level two gathering nice i'm curious as to where that pig went now if he does live i'm just going to go over here actually and do some mapping because this is going to open up where the um Take that for gathering skill. This is going to open up where the obsidian is. Now, when you map, the higher you are, the bigger the distance you can map. So let's go as high as we can here. All right, this will do, probably. Now we can go a bit more. Okay, let's go M for map, spacebar, mapping. And that should give us this whole area here. Let's do that. Attack by a pest. Okay. All right, more bow skill. So, M mapping. Let's try that again. Start. All right, so we did open up a bunch of stuff, which includes more liana over here, which is probably worth grabbing now. But there's our obsidian, so when we want it, well, when we decide to start going for obsidian, a bunch of bananas as well, which we don't really need, um, but the liana would be useful. Let's go for that. And again, it should be right ahead. Liable to run into snakes here. Oh, there's one. More bow skill. Liana right ahead. Now, do we have any stones? Yes, we do. Do we have any sticks? No. Uh, let's grab some. And another snake. Okay. More bow skill. And Liana right here. So I don't, no, we can't get it all. So let's just dial back to 20 and harvest. And let's destroy that one. And let's make another stone axe craft. All right, so that's all of the liana and there's another snake, more bow skill. There we go. Level 3 bow skill. So if we just look at what that means now, shooting. So it increases damage from shooting by plus 10%, 15% in the next level. So that's really what we wanted. All right, let's uh, head out of here. How much weight? 13. So we're still light. Keep hitting V here. So I want to see if... Because um, that will show us where our arrows are. If we get anywhere near that pig which we're not seeing. This is the right direction, isn't it? Yeah, we've got the uh, bananas here. Let's go E, F, pickle.
There's a lot more food here that we actually don't need, but there's no harm in that. But it is giving us um, some more of these wide leaves, which we do want. All right, so we know where the obsidian is now, and that will be one of our next stage, sta uh, one of our next stages. And that is to go for the obsidian. It's just up here on the right. We're going to need a pickaxe for that. Where are we on weight? Twenty-seven point eight. Grab some sticks. We were light on sticks, weren't we? This will also help our gathering skill. How are we doing time of day? It's getting late. Okay, let's head home. Okay, getting back at the cave. So let's look at our inventory. Now we picked up six of these we don't want to be carrying. Um, leaves, a bunch of those. Five crabs, which we... You know, there's one raw crab. Oh, we've still got the roasted ones on us. So, um, so we could eat. So let's do that. But we got the 18 liana. Which was our main goal there. As far as the bananas are concerned... Let's just see what they are, um, what the blueprints are. So blueprints on that one is just roasted bananas, so we can cook those. Stores 10 wood, 5 water. Okay. And then these, it's 5 food and 2 water. Now these are going to go rotten, we're probably not going to use them, so um, let's just start eating them. It's more food than we need at this stage, but what we do want is to complete this, remember? And that is two pieces of rope. But we need to cut down a tree. So let's have a look at this one. So you've got this harvest and you've got this cut down here. So if we cut down, it's going to take us one hour. Uses up 15 on our X. And it's not night time yet. If it was night time, we would have had our 21% chance of in uh, injury there. So that's one of the ingredients we needed. The rest is... Let's see, place resources. So we placed all of the small sticks, so we're just going to need the two rope. So I think if we make the rope now, do we get a chance of injury? I think we do. Let's have a look. Blueprints. Yeah, we do. So there's no point doing it now, so I'm just going to sleep here and see you tomorrow morning. I'm going to end the episode there and uh, stop calling a start guide from now on because we've got all of our basic needs met. We've got uh, food, we've got water, we've got somewhere to sleep, uh, we've got a weapon, we've got basic construction going. So from now on, I'll keep it going and um, just call it episodes 4, 5, 6, etc. So thanks for watching and I uh, hope to see you for the next one which will be episode 4. Bye.